Hi everybody, welcome back to Small Caliber Arms Review. I'm Richard, and today, before we get into the video, I want you to hit that subscribe button down below and help me out. And we're gonna open up this cardboard box from Taurus and see what's inside of this thing. All right, like I said, it's a cardboard box from Taurus. A bunch of paperwork in the top of it, like just about every other handgun. Warranties, offers, owner's manual, safety lock, and in a little plastic bag in here is another little revolver. Now it looks real similar to the Taurus 605 I did a while back, and actually it is so close. In fact, it pretty much is the same gun. This is the 605. This is a 38 caliber 357. This one, the 942, is actually a 22 Magnum, an eight shot 22 Magnum. I'm a big fan of 22, big fan of 22 Magnum, even bigger fan of 17 HMR. The only difference in these two guns is the barrel length on it. This is a two inch barrel length. This is a three inch on there, which kind of bites because now I got to make another holster because this one's not going to quite fit in there as well as, well, it's really not going to fit in there at all, but the, uh, the 602 fits in there great. So I have to make another one with just a little bit longer, a little bit more room down here for the uh, three inch barrel on it. But this thing, I have not taken it out and shot it yet. It's a stainless steel eight shot revolver, and it's the same gun as that, the same frame and everything. Different cylinder, obviously, because it's 22 Magnum and holds three more shots than the 605 does, eight shots of 22 Magnum. And it's just a cool little revolver. It's got some pretty decent sights on it. They're not the best in the world, not high visibility, but it's just a cool little gun. I like wheel guns, and this one I think is gonna be a pretty good one too. The cylinder gap on it is gonna be hard to show, but it's not terrible. Uh, there are better guns out there, but this one really, it's some pretty good fit and finish on it and everything. Uh, you got your plunger right there to knock your empty cases out of there and it is double action or single action. But since this is a 22 Magnum, it's rim fire and you don't want to dry fire it, but it does, it does work both single and double action. Transfer bar safety in there, so if you don't have the, should have done that. But if you don't, if you don't pull the trigger back, that transfer bar is gonna drop down out of the way and your firing pin, the transfer bar's gotta go up in that little spot right there so that it will transfer the force from the hammer to the firing pin. Now that one dry fire on there probably didn't do any damage to it at all, but with rim fire, it pinches the firing pin, uh, it pinches the rim of the round between the firing pin and the edge of the cylinder there. And repeated dry firing of this gun will damage that and eventually you won't be able to uh, get around to go off in it because it just, it'll be collapsed so much it will not be able to pinch that in there or expand it so much, either way. Anyways, we're going to get this box of CCI 22 Maxi Mags out there, a nice little milk carton. I haven't seen any of these on the shelves for a long time. And uh, get the Peltor range guards on, get some eyes on, and we'll go out to the range. All right, I'm going to tell you right now, it's a chilly day out here on the range. Uh, there's a lot of snow on the ground, but we're out here in the saloon with the Taurus 942, single action, double action, uh, 22 Magnum, eight shot revolver. I got my little milk carton of CCI mini mags out here. And uh, we're going to put eight rounds in there and see how it does. All right, to load it up, it's a piece of cake. All you got to do is push a little uh, release there to the side, tip the cylinder out, and then go ahead and drop your rounds right straight down in there. They drop in nice and easy. Now, I don't know if they make a speed loader for this one, but uh, it would be kind of neat. It is pretty close to the frame there, so I don't know how uh, effective it would be or how easy it would be or how fast it would be. When they're close like that, it's tough to get them in there, get that speed loader out of there and, and uh, move on. But once you're done, just take and push the cylinder right back in until it locks. Rotate your barrel a little bit, make sure it's locked up, and then uh, you're ready to shoot. One of the nice things about the range guards here is uh, it kind of helps keep your ears warm a little bit too. And they got the built-in stereo microphones on there so when you're not shooting you can hear everything around you. You can actually amplify all the sounds around you too. But I've got my two targets set up there and I've, I've got a silhouette target and the, uh, the little five targets on the whatever it is, the NRA pistol target, slow fire target. And uh, we're gonna give it a few shots at that first and, and try it for accuracy and see how it does. All right, I'm bundled up and ready to go. I did take, before I brought it out of here, uh, you did see me take it out of the box. I did go ahead and run a bore mop 
through the barrel, make sure there's no obstructions in there, wiped it all down and everything. Make sure everything is good and clean and ready to go. Uh, I'm gonna do my first shot single action at the center target up there and just try it for accuracy. Now it should not have very much recoil to it because like I said, it's the exact same gun as the 605 and that's a 38 357 and that one wasn't, wasn't horrible for recoil. And this being the 22 Magnum should be a lot nicer. Nice, another nice thing about it is it is actually big enough on the trigger guard. I've got some pretty thin gloves on here, but I'm able to get my hand in there. All right, I'm just gonna do the four shots right there. We'll go up there and take a look at the target real quick. It actually did pretty good, and I'm only shooting it seven yards away, so that's pretty close, but it's a, a good self-defense distance anyways. Okay, so there's my four shots. One, two, three, four. Still within that little three-inch circle that's on there, two-inch circle, whatever it is. Maybe three, whatever. Um, but that's not terrible. Um, it's only got a three-inch barrel on it, so accuracy is gonna be, eh. The nice thing about it compared to, say, the, uh, the S333 or the Thunderstruck is this has got like twice, almost three times the length of the barrel on it. So you're going to get more velocity out of the round because you've got more time for that powder charge to push that bullet out. And this is far more accurate than the Thunderstruck. All right, I've still got four rounds in there. I'm gonna go ahead and do, let's say the upper left hand target. I'm gonna do these four double action and see how it does. All right, there was eight shots, four single action, four double action. We'll take a real quick look at that. They are definitely way all over the place because I've been shooting at double action. All right, before I do that though, I gotta unload and reload. And one of my favorite things about a revolver is tip it up, hit the plunger. That is so easy to unload. Reloading those takes a little bit more time because you're putting them in there one at a time, but it's still, it's not terrible. Let's go ahead and get it loaded up and eight rapid fire shots, center mass at the silhouette target. All right, now these are a, uh, these are CCI 22 WMR Maxi Mags, 40 grain jacketed hollow point. So if you're gonna use anything, there's gonna be a lot of people that tell you a 22 is not a good choice for concealed carry. There's a lot of people that can't handle larger rounds. Uh, they've got weak hands or they're elderly or something. Some kind of reason why they don't wanna shoot larger ones. And sometimes people just feel more comfortable with these. 22 Magnum is not a slouch. I mean, it's got some oomph to it. Uh, they do hit pretty hard. I mean, that's a lot bigger than a 22 long rifle. And if you get the right ammo, they actually do make rounds like this in a self-defense ammo. And it's up to you what you decide to carry for personal protection. But it, to tell you the truth, nobody wants any extra holes in them, at least not these kind of extra holes in them. So. I mean, it is a, an option for personal defense. And I, I know I don't want to get hit with one, but this uh, silhouette guy out here, he'll take them all day long. All right, eight shots, double action, center mass. Rapid fire. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight all within the 9, 10 and the X ring, three of them right in the X ring there, the rest of them are in the nine ring. So it's, it's a good uh, accurate gun, again, seven yards, a good personal defense distance, I guess, but um, it handles really well. I'll do that again so you can see how the recoil or how, the, uh, how, how it all works and what the recoil's like and everything, give you an idea what it's like anyways. All right, 22 Magnum is a fun round for sure. I've got a couple rifles that shoot it. I have a couple more guns that shoot 22 Magnums. Ammo right now is hard to find. Like I said, I picked this little carton up, oh geez, many, many months ago, and maybe even a year or so ago. And they're fairly economical. Uh, at least they were. A lot of ammo right now has gone really high priced. But um, 
it can be used for personal protection. I'm not going to tell you what you can or cannot use. The choice is completely up to you. But um, let's give you an idea of what the recoil is going to be like on this thing. I'm going to do it with no gloves this time. And again, eight rapid fire shots. Uh, we'll do head shots on this time, see how they do. Okay, like you see, the, the muzzle flip's not terrible. It's a 22 Magnum. Um, th they do hit pretty hard, I can tell you that. I've taken out a few groundhogs with 22 Magnum and it does a superb job on them. And this would probably be a pretty effective tool to stop an assailant. Uh, that didn't do too bad. I, it looks like I got all of them in the head there. One just kind of grazed the scalp a little bit, but um, it doesn't do too bad. And again, empty right out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I did miss with one of them, but uh, still, it's it's a pretty good shooter. Uh, rapid fire headshots there, uh, rapid fire in the body there. Everything is in a nice, decent sized group. And w with like the Thunderstruck, uh, you're firing two shots with every pull of the trigger. And those things go all over the place. Who knows where that other round's going? Uh, maybe one of them's gonna hit where you want it, maybe it's not. That one is really unpredictable if you ask me, but this thing shoots just as good as a 605. The trigger pull is just as smooth. It's a really nice trigger pull. Of course, in double action, it's gonna be a lot longer, a lot heavier. Uh, single action with those four shots I did right there in that target, you can really take your time and it is a good accurate gun. Um, I really like it. I think it's a pretty good little shooting gun. All right, thanks for taking a look at the Taurus 942. This one is in 22 Magnum. It is available in 22 Long Rifle also. It is available with the two inch barrel or the three inch barrel. I think that's the only two barrel options you got. Eight shot 22 Long Rifle or eight shot 22 Magnum. Uh, a good quality gun. I think everything is real smooth in it. You don't feel any grittiness or anything. It's got a decent trigger pull on single action. It's got a decent trigger pull in double action, although it's longer and heavier. Uh, it's still a pretty good shooting little gun. Nice rubber grip on it, comfortable in the hand. If you've got big hands or small hands, it's still going to be pretty comfortable. I think anyways, I've got pretty big hands and I don't have any problems with it. I don't have any problems with the 605 either, either with 38s or 357 Magnums. They both shoot great. It's a comfortable gun to shoot. This one is uh, being 22 Magnum is going to have a lot less recoil. It's still pretty accurate. And I'm not going to tell you what you can or cannot carry for concealed carry, uh, personal defense. That's completely up to you. But if you're uh, kind of scared of the larger rounds or you just have weaker hands or you're a person of smaller frame or something like that and you don't want to get into the bigger calibers, this is a good option. And I know I don't want to get hit with any caliber round. I don't care what it is. I don't want to get hit with any of them. Anyways, thanks for watching Small Caliber Arms Review. If you could hit this button up here to check out some of my other videos, hit this button right here to subscribe if you haven't already. And thanks for watching Small Caliber Arms Review.